You want the short answer? No, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. But let's be real, things aren't looking great, especially when you factor in AI layoffs, an unstable economy, and a generation that's faced everything from the dot-com bubble to the global financial crisis and even the pandemic. It's almost like the universe has been conspiring against Zoomers from the get-go. Let's dive into it. First off, AI has completely shaken up the entry-level job market. The number of entry-level positions has plummeted, and honestly, it's no surprise. Back in the day, hiring an intern was pretty much essential. You needed that extra set of hands to take care of the boring stuff, writing code, fixing bugs, and setting up projects. But with AI around, everything has gotten quicker. And we've also got another AI at play here. Offshoring. Companies, in an attempt to cut costs, started offshoring entire development teams. This isn't about nurturing talent in developing countries. It's about getting experienced developers for pennies on the dollar. For all the tech-savvy countries out there, this just means competition for jobs has gotten way tougher. Now, let's talk about coding itself. Remember the golden days when everyone was like, just learn to code and you'll be fine? Yeah, that's not the silver bullet it once seemed to be. Coding is a skill, a real skill, and being good at it requires passion, competence, and honestly, a bit of problem-solving magic. Boot camps have flooded the market, and now the junior dev space is oversaturated. So that learn-to-code mantra? It's getting old. But hold on. Before you start panic searching for a new job, let's put things into perspective. We're living in a time when startup founders are getting younger and younger, and there are literal kids out there writing better code than some professionals. So, what's the way forward? Take initiative. In tech, you don't always need a formal job to show you're competent. Build something, anything, whether it's a side project, a startup idea, a community, or even content. Build what you care about, what you find useful, and what you can proudly show to the world. Remember, coding is a social skill. Big open source projects, communities, and content aren't built by one person. Once you get started, you'll naturally start connecting with like-minded people. And who knows? Some might find you first. One more thing. Expanding your skill set is key. You don't have to stick to just one niche. Become a T-shaped developer. You know, have a diverse skill set, DevOps, front-end, databases, and pick a specific area to specialize in. But here's the catch. Generalizing is the new specialization. Junior-level positions now require more flexibility, and it's important to be adaptable in a fast-changing tech world. Don't be afraid to learn something new. Coding, design, data analysis, or even video editing. The more you know, the more you stand out. Here's something that's underrated cold approaching. Gen Z seems to love the idea of reaching out to companies rarely follows through. Don't just spam random people on LinkedIn. Research companies. Find those that have recently raised funding and send well-crafted emails. A little tip. Emails are usually more effective than LinkedIn DMs. Send about 10 messages a day over 10 days and you'll have 100 potential opportunities at your fingertips. The numbers speak for themselves. Tech isn't easy. It has its ups and downs, but if you're willing to put in the work, you'll weather the storm.